Ladies and gentlemen, we have here for my first time a uh, review is Jungle Lord. This is a one man third party figurine done by the um, talented Tum Tisk in Thailand. Sculpt, painted, casted, shipped all by him. This is a Monster vs. Kong, aka Jungle Lord, as the official titling is that he is sold under. Um, for uh, obvious reasons, of course. Um, this is, like I said, a third-party figurine. This is all one-man production. Definitely, definitely see the beauty and the detail and all that. Like I, I don't know what to to tell you here. This is this is an amazing figurine. So, for those of you who have want or have heard about this elusive third party kaiju character, um, let's go into the ins and outs, the bells and whistles, and what does he have? Well, starting off, this character is the EX edition which means he comes with two separate heads, three sets of hands, and a stick. Rightly so. Um, the three sets of hands he has is grabbing hands, obviously for the limb there, and uh, yes, you can literally position him to grab both of, uh, use both hands to hold the stick. He, his range of motion is that great. I love it. Um, he also comes with two other heads, and uh, fists and open palmed hands, as you can see what he's right there having. Uh, I went ahead and made this little case for my figurine, because I wanted to keep all the accessories looking nice. But as you can see, he has two other head sculpts, a growly face, and a passive nice face. Again, the eyes. Oh, my lord. Let's open this up. Those eyes. One man. Man. NECA, take notes. But, with that being said, some people uh, have complained about uh, Jungle Lore's size. We're going to get into a size comparison here in a minute. Before we do, I'd like to also talk about his overall articulation and just some general problems when facing this character. Now, as you are aware of now, we have a third-party figurine. So, what do we mean by third-party? Well, someone, for those of you who may not understand that, means we have a guy who, on his own, to, his own free will and time, took it upon himself to create something that ultimately has uh, rights attached to it. And honestly, um, if was done by its official ideal set name, it, it, I wouldn't be holding this thing right now. Bottom line, it's it's a custom piece. We're not official. One man project. So there, there's going to be some drawbacks. One of which, really big on, uh, loose joints. Now, unfortunately, yes, loose as in to the point where you stick them in, they fall right out. Um... Kind of. Uh, it's not that bad. Uh, definitely not that bad. Um, as far as, say, put his arm in, try to pose him a certain way, and hopefully the weight of the stick won't knock it out, that's a different story. So I recommend getting some clear coat nail polish, and if done right, uh, is perfect. Perfect for what you need. Some people say they want to use super glue and stuff like that. Uh, I say you're crazy. Uh, having experience with super glue, uh, fixing all my figurines using super glue and permanent markers or paint markers most of the time. Um, I can tell you this right now. This is not the case. You do not want to make that mistake trying to fix him up using super glue unless it's actually broken. Um, so what I have done here, um, and I do have an unboxing video. Uh, opened up of him, I have taken the liberty to coat his joints, 
uh, the edges of the resin, essentially, and just the plastic overall. So that way, uh, as you can see, I've done a great job getting them to stay in there now. Now it doesn't want to come out at all, period, which is what we wanted. It'll turn well, but it just won't come out. But i got to show you guys this. Um, I've taken the liberty, and these are Robotech joints, by the way, of filling in the sockets. As you can see. Well, a nice little shine there. This does go a long way in really, really, really bringing out your figurine as far as what you want done, what don't you want done, what you can do, what can't you do, what's going to stick, what's not going to stick. Um, yeah, it, trust me, you're definitely going to want to put the paint, uh, the nail polish on there. When I say paint thinner, huh? The nail polish on there and uh, strengthen some of these joints up because they will need it. And with that being said, you also have like down here, come on, out, say his knee joints. Now as you can see, that is very thin and can break if it takes a good nosedive off a shelf. Um, to avoid that, clear coat nail polish. Really simple. Don't use super glue. Why don't we use super glue? Well, it's very simple. You use super glue. And I was, and mind you, I want to show you this. Please don't kill me. 12 year old, when I first had my first attempt trying to fix super glue, this is what you run into. Right there. I've had this figuring for years, so yeah, don't kill me. But you have to deal with that white. And when you dry, it goes white. I know there are ways around uh, getting around that, you know, uh, keeping the glue completely isolated from anything else will bring that down. Uh, sometimes water, I heard uh, from one person. I never tried that one, so I don't know. But um, the only way I've known to avoid that white on super glue is uh, either A, when you apply it, keep it completely away from everything and it will dry clear-ish, or acetone yeah that, that that does it and it does get it off but um it's also going to take your paint away as well and possibly eat through your plastic destroying the detail destroying your figurine don't recommend it so again stay away from the super glue when wanting to apply stuff to these joints and as you can see uh from here from the joints i have put it on and it's dried you know one quick coat let it sit for a good 20 minutes, 20 minutes to a half an hour. Let it sit, let it cure, let it get hardened. I mean, using nail polish to do this is by no means at all a quick process. It is very slow, very time consuming, and it really, really does draw out. It is not fun, but you know what? It is the safest and most guaranteed method. I can assure you, use clear coat nail polish. Don't do it. I mean, if you want to be quick, you're quick, fast, and cheap. Sure, you can use the super glue, but again, you mess up, you mess up. And you're for me, um, this is my first custom piece. I really don't think... Uh, Tom's going to be around working on Jungle Lord forever to go, hey, bud, I screwed up the Robotech joint. It's stuck in his uh, his uh, his one fisticuff hand. Can you send me a new hand? You know, that's not going to happen. And it's not like you can go out to Walmart and get a replacement either. You know, it's it's be smart, ladies and gentlemen. Be smart here. You know, if, if you you want to play the fixing game, you want to fix them up more power to you. Do like I've done. Be smart. Clear coat nail polish. You can't go wrong with that. And it's an easy cleanup, and it doesn't make that big of a mess. And even if it does get everywhere, it will be clear. <laughs> All right. So with that out of the way, um, let's look at some of the articulation he has. Um, there is a learning curve to his articulation. Because of how this figuring was put together, Tom couldn't use um, ball joints, unfortunately. Uh, there was just some problems, you know, and he just wasn't able to be using ball joints for this figurine. So he uses Robotech joints. So unfortunately, like you see in uh, some stuff like this here, you know, a clear sign of just how this figurine's made, two drill holes. 
You know, he started one point and was like, oh, crap, that really doesn't fit well in there. And he had to stop and redo it. It does not, in my opinion, at all detract away from the character. If anything, it enhances this figurine because it shows the simple fact that we are all human. We make mistakes. And you know what? There you go. And I believe he's done it. Yeah. See, like this one here? You got it right the first time. Human beings. There you go. Now, with that being said, like I said, so it's, it's a bit of a learning curve trying to figure out exactly how he'll move. Um, his he does stand fairly well on his own. Once you figure out his weight, you figure out how he stands. Uh, you uh, factor that all in. Essentially, um, he he poses great. I do have some pictures. Um, I'm thinking about getting a Facebook profile set up specifically for the channel here, and I'll get some photos up or. Better yet, <laughs> hate me guys, Patreon. Probably get a Patreon account and uh, get and put all my photos up there of him. Uh, got to be able to buy these figurines somehow, guys, and get more reviews out for you. Granted, I've got a, a great collection of masks right now, which is above my head on this side and that side. But uh, we're not reviewing any of those yet. We're st He's going to be my starting lineup because there's just no reviews of this guy because, well... I mean, most people don't know he exists, so I'm getting the word out. So, with that being said, we've seen the articulation here. He has a great range. Um, articulation in the hands vary. Uh, depending on what hand you have depends on what kind of range of motion you will have with said hand. But I can guarantee you that, you know, I mean, you get enough movement. It, like you said, for certain hands, it's kind of like, you know, it's like, oh, you probably could have given a little more room to it. But you like you look at this open passive hand, if you can make sure that you're on the right joint like you're supposed to be, you know, he has a great range. But again, that's also due to the fact that you want to thicken up the joints so that way you can turn those hands, get the joints to move. So that way it just it goes exactly where you want it to. And as you can see, I've kind of worn out the paint slightly already from... My unfortunate, uh, if you want to call it clumsy handling of this wonderful guy. Which, again, go out, find some acrylic paint, match the color up, and you can easily fix that yourself. I'm all down for fixing figurines myself, guys. Um, you know, I don't have the money to replace them half the time, so if something breaks, I try to find a clever, convenient way uh, to fix it the best I can. Um, the range of moment, movement we can see right here. Great range of movement all the way around. And as you can see, like I said, I put, uh, like I said, that clear coat nail polish on those edges to strengthen it up. And it does go that extra mile. So, let's do some size comparisons of Jungle Lord here. By the way, this case does not come standard. If I mention again, um, I made this case for him. So... Yeah, don't expect that to come with him, the character. Uh, some people complained that he is um, a little small when comparing him to Godzilla. And we will be comparing him to the 2014, the 2019 uh, NECA Godzillas. Those will be what we are comparing him against right now. But before we do, I am pulling off the atomic head. And I want to show you a size. Some people complained... The size is just, it's not good. I disagree. Now, with that being said, here is the 2019. Now, we look at the heads here. Keep in mind, those heads, and as Thomas pointed out to me real fast, those heads are the same size. You can see for yourself. Uh, uh. So... I agree with Tom after talking to him, because I've talked to him, like I said, on several occasions while he was making this figurine. Um, the, the, the portion's perfect. I mean, any bigger... Uh, Kong, Kong's head gets too bigger than Godzilla's. They're the same size. So, before people's like, oh, he's, he's, he's too small, he's too small, uh, uh, let's, let's get proportion right. The only thing I really have a major issue with as far as a sizing goes is... I feel like maybe Jungle Lord could be just a bit beefier in some regards, but um, past that, he uh, no, he's he's really, 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 really good. So put this off to the side. 
There we go. Here is the NECA. I do not own any SH series, guys. So, yeah, crucify me now, I know. It's a shame, but what can I say? I get poor man Godzilla toys. <laughs> um, with that being said, you see the size. Some people say he's he's a little small. He's a little small. Eh. Uh, come on, move your arms out of the way, buddy. And there you go. There's Kong and his size. To googly-eyed NECA Godzilla. Oh, God, that look. Oh, God. We got to zoom in on that. Someone can take this, turn it to a meme. And here you go. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Had too much fun with that. <laughs> um... But anyway, yeah, there's the size for you. Um, my big flop here is I felt like you could be a bit beefier. That's my only gripe. But past that, um, there's no other Jungle Lord. Well, yeah, there's no Jungle Lords on the market. This is the only Jungle Lord. There's no other uh, articulated Kongs out on the market. The only other Kong you're going to find is by Playmates, and it's sold at Walmart currently for around 12 bucks. Yeah. We can't get you to stand right, buddy. Here we go. Oh, come on. He doesn't. He likes to be difficult. This is one of those figurines. Oh, uh, come on. Well, as soon as I can get him to stand up. You know what? Okay, there we go. He's standing. New size right there. That's what you get. That is the current only Kong on the market. And trust me... He's not that grand. I mean, he's 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 okay on the shelf just to have as as a, as a good shelf filler for uh, a kaiju toy, essentially for you know my Godzilla stuff. But um, yeah, I had bought in him, and then about a week and a half later is when I discovered the existence of Jungle Lord. So I was like, oh wow, that's that's amazing. So I'm completely completely kind of mad and blown away at the same time I found him that way. Uh, let's compare him to the only other, uh, well, it's one of two Kong figurines I've discovered on the market that's semi-affordable-ish. Uh, because, mind you, majority of my collecting guys is around the uh, $120 bracket. This is about as far as I've really been able to go uh, due to the simple fact of I do not have the money to do it. Uh, my current goal is to try to pick up an SH series Ghidorah. I've seen the reviews, and I know people have what they said about the figurine, and I know what I'm getting, but oh my god, I just want an SH series Ghidorah and get that lined up. That'd be great. $220. Ugh, that's literally like half my check, almost half my check. Okay, maybe one-third of my check, but still a good one-third. There's the Mezco Kong for you, the only other Kong on the market that's articulated. I will do a review of him later as well. Uh, he does not make a good Kong to compare against for other Godzillas. Uh, I recommend the best Godzilla to ever put with a Mezco Kong is the NECA thank you Jungle Lord is the NECA stay stay is the NECA 62 King Kong versus Godzilla he's the best one that I've seen goes well with the Mezco Kong so a little side note now that is about it, guys, for a comparison, really. Um, actually, no, we got one more treat here for you. My only counter-argument to about him being too small is because Tom decided to use his first movie appearance. So, you know what? Flip the script. Let's not use 2019 to compare him. Goodbye, Mezco Kong. Let's use NECA 2014. There you go. <laughs> there you go, guys. There's, how's that for a comparison? That seems about right to what he would be actually in the movie-ish. And uh, for those of you wondering, um, 
yeah, there's a great uh, comparison to what the difference is between the two are in the film. Some some great changes. Uh, also, side note, they do a great job at actually conveying how big they are to each other in the film. They really did make the guy taller. So, there you go. Just a kind of, just a cool little side note real fast there on that one. I figured you guys might find that kind of cool. But uh, there you go. There's Jungle Lord. He's the, like I said, you're, for the only other Kong that you're going to get on the market for the the, the MonsterVerse, um, you can't go wrong. I will provide links uh, down below to the Nine Modelism website that you can go to. Um, if the figurine, from what Thomas told me, if the figurine is up on the website, as of you seeing this, it means there's orders still open that you can place. So, buy it, grab it, pass it, your call. Um, I, I I recommend picking him up. Uh, I think he looks great on my shelf. Uh, and also, it justifies to my girlfriend all the very poor justification why I had to buy this almost a month prior before picking him up. So throw him down there. You know, you get a nice blue atomic breath Godzilla. So what can I say? Also, getting the size comparison game. Here I am. I've done some uh, posability with him real fast. And we'll just throw you, just give you an idea. You probably want to like, oh, well, how much posability can you do with him? Well, as you can see, you do a lot. You have a lot of fun with this character. A lot of fun. Um... But there you go, guys. The Nine Modelism Jungle Lord. Third party figurine. As I said, guys, there isn't there's not a lot to you know to really say other than the advice I gave you about the joints and the arms uh of what you're expecting. Past that, guys, to be honest, given what I've told you about the minor uh misconstruples of him, he is totally worth it. This guy is so worth it, and for the EX edition going around, like, uh, I do believe, like, 62 altogether is the price point between, because I know his, his actual price point is $47, the figurine as is, um, with tax and all, which I do believe is, like, 16 for shipping, because it is overseas, of course, and um, Tom does a great job at actually covering the extra cost. If you honestly knew how much he was paying for shipping, you'd be like, oh, holy shit, um, but with that being said, you know, it's uh, it's it's really, really, really one amazing, amazing figurine to have. And as you can clearly see, clearly see, you know, sure you got some differences. And we'll do one more quick comparison here before we go. Because... Zoom right in there, and I want you guys to really see that detail sculpting. So we got NECA, we got it, and here's like the back of him. We'll just use his back as a base comparison right now. So you guys can really see the detail, you can really see that difference. I mean, yeah, he's not a NECA figurine, he's not a you know, Bandai figurine, and you can kind of tell from the video here that he, uh, he really is, uh, he's custom, he's not official, he is the work of private hands, <laughs> not corporate hands, you know, um, but you, again, you see for yourself, the arms, the shoulders, everything. I mean, this guy is just so amazing. So like I said, there you go, guys. There it is. There is Jungle Lord. Again, buy it, grab it, pass it, your call. Links will be provided below. You can also check out my unboxing video that I have done uh, showing you what to expect when getting your Jungle Lord. Um... <clears throat> And uh, that was uh, pretty cool as well. In there as well, I said Tum was from Taiwan at the end of that video. Uh, forgive me, it is Thailand he is from. Uh, I, I picked that up when looking through it again, and I was like, oh, 
Oh, man, someone's going to notice that and uh, point that out to me. But there you go. There's some size comparisons. There is uh, some looks for you. So, again, please like the video if you enjoyed. Uh, I plan to keep my videos very much like this, uh, being new to the game here. Uh, I just feel like it brings a sense of authenticity to you guys, you know, real raunchy, to the point, well, not really raunchy, but raw, essentially, and you guys can feel like you're watching an everyday guy like yourselves just going to work, flipping the bills, and having a nice toy-collecting hobby for the giant monsterverse. Well, at least this American portion of it, I got a lot more I want to put out there. I got toys from, I got a couple toys from Trade Masters, I got a uh, a couple, you know, different figurines in there. Like, uh, for instance, uh, we'll, we'll give you guys a quick sneak peek. Ah! There you go. <laughs> That's uh, Bandai Orga. Runs around $75 on eBay is what that cost me. Uh, I will do a review on that. I have a crap ton of toys uh, for Godzilla. I mean, currently now, guys, I'm looking at 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, because there's a Mothra hanging right there off to the side. <laughs> uh, uh, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, yeah, 9. Well, 39 figurines I got here, so um, I'm going to be cranking out some videos for you guys. Uh, heads up, most of them are Bandai, a few NECA. Uh, being here in the States, you can probably expect around those two figurines to be popping up. I do have some Halo figurines, so for those of you who are Halo fans, I will have some of those up. And I also have some NECA AVP and Kenner figurines as well that I will also do some reviews on here in the future. So, uh, just guys, leave some comments down below uh, which figurines that you're most interested in maybe seeing the most. If I see people making a huge demand like, hey, we want to see AVP, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do the five figurines of the NECA I have. I got a couple from Kenner. And we'll see where it goes from there. I might even throw the custom piece that I made of a, a Predator victim in there for you. <laughs> but without further ado, guys, um, thank you uh, for enduring my first introduction into toy reviews. Um, I, I'm planning on trying to get a video out just about every day or every other day. Uh, I'm off normally on my weekends, so it does narrow down my time factor. So for those of you who want to become really invested in me early on and you guys really uh, want to really want to be invested in, in what's coming up next, that's kind of your time frame I'm looking on. I'm, I'm not going to be really uh, hindered down by a schedule because, well, I'm living the American dream and paying the taxes, you know. And the bills and keeping the lights on. Yeah. But for those of you who want to help me out, please like, subscribe, uh, just do whatever you can to help me support the channel. And I will keep pumping these out and I will do my best to improve this game. But at the same time, leave it to this nice, authentic, you know... Uh, review. I feel like people who do a lot of cuts and videos, oh yes, it's snappy, it's quick, it looks great. Um, it takes away a bit of authenticity. It's kind of like, mm, I feel like you're a rich guy who has all this money and I don't. <laughs> uh, instead of just being an everyday person. Called it, call this end a cringe. As I said, it's my first official review. So I'm just going to call it as is. But there you are. There he is. <laughs> I hope you guys found my knowledge useful. Thank you again. Like, subscribe, enjoy. <laughs>